WI Ventures was launched in 2011. Um, the reason is for, for launching it was um, to support the BMW uh, I brand and BMW in general. We do uh, major minority investments in startup companies. Um, you know, and the, our share is usually between 1% and about 15%. So we don't take majority stakes. We don't, you know, integrate this company into BMW. We use them in a smart way. We sit on the board. We, we make sure that there's cooperation between the startup and BMW, which is mutually beneficial. Cities are growing. We see that there's, you know, the, own, the owning a vehicle is not always the best option to get from A to B. It is in certain certain times, but our customers also uh, appreciate, you know, be having access to mobility beyond owning the vehicle. So that means if they're on holiday or if they want to move from A to B quickly in the city without using their own car, we would like to be able to offer them alternative mobility, which makes sense in the city, which which supports electric mobility if possible, and which gives them additional access to premium. Um, mobility. Of course, yeah, but at the same time, if you do an investment, you help them grow. Uh, and if you, you know, if in th these companies are supposed to also help BMW in the long term. So we want to, we see that there's a lot of external innovation going on. And we think that corporate investing is, is a good means of getting this innovation into the company. Traditionally, OEMs only innovated you know, within their all four walls. And that's, we see that especially in software, it's, it's a lot easier for smaller companies to have an impact. And we think that in a, investing in those companies is helping, is helping them and is helping us as well, being a competitive company going forward. I'll give you a couple of examples. One, one example, uh, is, for example, um, RightCell. Uh, they, they are building the back end for, for our car sharing system. So they have a platform for B2B uh, mobility on demand, which means that they are licensing uh, you know, their back end to BMW and to other customers, which is good for us because then their platform is used for, for, multi uh, for a multitude of, of clients. Uh, we have a, a top-notch technology that we can use. We don't have to build it ourselves. It works perfectly. We see compared to our traditional approach, that the downtime, for example, is a lot sm smaller because they are, you know, they are a fast-acting startup, and we are very happy with that. Um, you know, this helps them, of course, building up a pilot customer. So we have been the first customer that has used the platform. So it was extremely good for them to have a pilot customer. You know, I, was, I was happy as an investor, BMW used the platform, and BMW is very happy with the service. So it's a win-win-win uh, situation for us. So we are, you know, that's one example how we use those little companies. Another example is ChargePoint, for example, when um, a company that's a leading charging infrastructure provider, um, they have 30,000 charging stations uh, in the US. And that's really important for us um, to further improve the, the infrastructure for e-mobility. We know that there is range is an issue when you, when you take the decision whether to buy an electric vehicle. And if the infrastructure is good, then you're more likely to buy an electric vehicle. And we think that's, that, that's the future that's very important. Um, so one project we did with them, for example, was the um, launch um, offering 100 fast chargers in the US on the West Coast and the East Coast in particular, which links the major, you know, which, which the, the spots are where the traffic is. So people you know, can, can charge quickly, it doesn't take hours, it just takes something like 20 minutes to fill up your tank. And you can do that um, you know, quickly while you, have, while you drink your coffee. So that's one of the initiatives that we have started with some of our portfolio companies. Well, it's, it's, um, I think it's essential having a sustainability. I mean, customers demand that um, uh, also as well. We see that our customers, um, you know, have keep that in mind when they, when they take, make their decisions, which car to buy. Um, we see that this is also in our core products. This is a key element of their purchasing decision, and, and rightly so. Um, and, and the same applies for services. People want to know, is this, um, you know, something... Is this decision right that I'm doing? Is it, is it responsible? Is it sustainable? Um, and it's, it's often driven by, by customer demand as well. Because the, the mindset is changing and customers, for customers it's a crucial part of their purchasing decision or their, their selection which, which supplier do you choose. Mm -hmm.